What do you see? My right hand. What do you see? Face. My chick. Will I ever be able to slap myself on the face? Yes. Yeah. I'm doing it right now. Ow. Oh, you think I'll be able to somehow miraculously able to slap myself? Yeah. Oh, I just did. But we, will I be able to explain how I slap myself on the face? Yeah. Will I be able to do that? It's because, because your you, hand will, you told uh, yourself, you, know, you told your brain, oh, I want to slap my face. Uh -huh. And your brain, uh, you sent a message down the mirrors into your hand to uh, make the exact coordination to make your hand fly towards your cheek and slap it. We caught it full. We caught it full. We caught it full in the classroom. Okay. Now. Let's have Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is a history of maths. So today we're gonna to talk about Zeno's paradox. Uh, Zeno was lived 2,500 years from now in the place called Greece. He was a Greek mathematician. Why do we love him? We love him because he contributed to math a lot, but I love him for a personal reason. He wrote nine paradox and one of them we're gonna one of the interest mathematician and physicists across the world including myself I'm going to talk about that now and this is called Achilles and Tartarus all right there was a race between Achilles and Tartarus of course Tartarus was slower and Achilles was uh, faster will the faster Achilles be able to cast the slower Tartarus this is the paradox I'm going to draw it who am I going to give a head start? Of course, Achilles. Achilles needs a tortoise. Tortoise needs a head start because tortoise is slow. Why does the tortoise look like a car? Um, because I'm a horrible artist. I'll draw that. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. I don't need a I, It's a math class for God's sake. I don't need Picasso. You. Yeah, but a tortoise needs a head All right, now, who will, will the Achilles ever be able to get here? Course. But when Achilles gets here, the tortoise will not be here. It is 10 meters or 10 meters ahead, 10 meters more, so 110 meters. Will the Achilles ever be able to? Yes, but tortoise will be one meter. Will that? So it's continuous process, but the question is will the Achilles ever be able to catch tortoise? The answer is. Assuming that Achilles is the constant, either constant speed, at the same speed as the turtle, or slower. Achilles' yeah. speed never changes, constant speed yeah, and Tartar's speed never changes. Will yeah, 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 yeah. Achilles ever be able to... But, uh, yeah. uh, and no, if Achilles' speed is slower than the Tartar's, then the Tartar's or equal to the Tartar's. And yes, if the, the Achilles... Uh, Alright, let's... Slightly faster than let's the make the problem easy. What do you see? Uh, two yeah. hands. Two, two hands, right? My left hand and my right hand. right hand. Okay, forget about hand. What do you see? My right hand. What do you see? Face. My chick. Will I ever be able to slap myself on the face? Yes. Yeah. I'm doing it right now. Ow. Oh, you think I'll be able to somehow miraculously able to slap myself? Yeah. Oh, I just did. But we, will I be able to explain how I slap myself on the face? Yeah. Will I be able to do that? It's because, because your you, hand will, you told uh, yourself, you, know, you told your brain, oh, I want to slap my face. Uh -huh. And your brain, uh, you sent a message down the mirrors into your hand to uh, make the exact coordination to make your hand fly towards your cheek and slap it. We caught it full. We caught it full. We caught it full in the classroom. Okay. Now. Let's have two. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have two hands uh, two meters separate from each other. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. In order to slap my this fair hand and here, will you be able to, Fox, will you be able to complete an infinite process? No. The co the answer is no. Why not? Excuse me, guy on the back. Will you ever be able to complete an infinite process? No. Why not, guy on the back? Infinite process means never ending. The answer is that why you can never be able to because. guy on the back shut up uh, okay so because, you because the limit of force is infinity uh oh full hand. i have a full i have a full in the classroom guy on the back try again okay so and, too late oh you are trying 
Oh, you are repeating. You are repeating yourself. I have a fool in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Now you, you are googling it, but my friend is yeah. not on the Google. Oh, again, you are repeating yourself. I have two fools in the classroom. Now you cannot complete an infinite process. Is because there is no last step in an infinite process. Why you cannot? Why you cannot complete an infinite process? Why? Is that what? No. There is no last step. Is there any notion of last step? No. No. Is there is no last step to the process? Now, if there is no last step to the process, then how would I be able to use my right hand to slap my face? How? Um, how would I be able to slap my? If you don't believe it, then go try yourself. Would you be able to slap yourself on the face? No. You said no, but I just didn't. Oh. Let's try to explain it using mathematics. Ah, uh, that's why it is paradox. But don't worry. We, in our lab, try to unlock all the paradox. Okay? Now, we just recently found a way to unlock this paradox. Okay, now, are you with me? Excuse me, guy on the back. Um, so, let's say S is equal to what? The first. I moved how long? Half. half. So what is the half? Half. What is half of two? One. 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 Okay. You didn't say what it was half of. Oh. Okay. And then and then half. Half. And then half. Half of two is one. Okay. Half. Okay. And then half. And then half. And then half is what? One sixteen. And then. You one think calculus this will eventually approach two? No. It will eventually approach two. Okay, I have no. I have I have two full in the classroom. One thing is the approach is gonna be two, and another thing is it does not. Now one must win, one must lose, because that's how I plan. Okay. Now alright, so what can you do? Oh take the integral. Uh, no, we're not gonna take the integral. But there is an easier approach. Can we multiply everything by half? We can multiply everything by half? Oh yeah, and then subtract. And then yeah, subtract and then subtract, of, right? Of this, so what are you gonna do? Half, right? Half what? Sure. Half. Half of s. Half of s, and then uh, equals half. Half, I can write it here, right? Yeah. And then plus one fourth. Plus plus one eight. Plus and now subtract them. But I want the subtract yeah. them. Uh huh. Cancel. Green, green. Cancel. So yes. what is left? S minus half S is equal to 1. So S is equal to? 2. Voila. That's what I said. Now, that's what you said, and that's what that guy on the back said. Wait, I want to say uh, something. You yeah. can only see how ridiculously close this uh, cycle gets to 2. I want to say, when the one half of one fourth, you have to plus one eight, plus one two and sixteen, plus one thirty two, plus one seventy four, plus one one forty eight. Already it's one point nine nine. Guy on the back, why don't you shut up? Okay. Okay. Now, now my question is, how did we able to finish that infinite process? Mm -hmm. If infinite process does not have last step. Oh, we took the limit. We, d you did not see me taking the limit. Or is it legal? Can I give you another example? Can you give me a similar example in which we can, we can construct an infinite process legally? Yeah. What is this called? Line. What is this called? Guy at the back. Line. Line. Let's say this is one. Segment. Line segment. What is this called? Guy on the back. Uh, two line segment to make it. Would I be able to find the if you are hypothesis? What do you do? Uh, Take the hypothesis. And if you are Pythagoreans, the followers of Pythagoreans, what did you do? Take him to the uh, river. And what did you do? Drown him. Drown him. Why? It's a crime. It's a crime, right? But forget about crime today. We'll commit the crime anyway because we are hypothesis. We are? Hypothesis. All right. Let's commit the crime. What is the crime over here? The square root of two. The square root of two. All right. Why this is a crime? Now, the square root of two. No, does the square root of two. No, 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 no. Hold on, guy in the back. Uh, <laughs> All right. Um, they don't. They God didn't like um, Erasmus. We're not gonna change the subject. Square root of two. 
Does it have? Does it have? Does it have any end? No. What is the square root of two? One point four one. No. Can you give me all number? What? Oh. One point four one four. One point four one four. Two one three. Two one three. Five six two. All right. All right. All right. All right. If it does not have any end step, we should not be able to construct it, right? Right. So how did I construct it? It does not have any end step. All right, now, this is my question to you, people, from our lab. Our lab is working 24-7 to uh, un unpack all the puzzles, okay? So, to support our lab, uh, you can support it many different ways. But most importantly, you can subscribe us on the, on the YouTube. Uh, you can follow us on the Facebook. Uh, and you can uh, you can uh, you can support you can give us funding on Patreon. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.